everybody, this is Edwin. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upload to Zazzle.com. So it's a print-on-demand website. It's a website where you can upload your design to like shirts, uh, cards, mugs, I believe, and just so many other things and calendars. Even on the screen, you can see them right here. And first, you gotta go to Zazzle.com and then go to register on the right top corner. And just make sure to just register for your account. Make sure to use an email and put in a good password. And after that, all you have to do is just wait for a confirmation email and then sign in. So I'm logged into my account. And as you can see on the left side, there's like a dashboard right here. So I'm going to click on this hamburger right here. And it says create your own. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go to create now. So from here, you can actually go through the custom gifts and just look at different products you can do. So for example, let me just go to mugs right here. So you can easily just click on one of these. It says create your own. So I'm just going to click on that. And then you can just add an image or a text. So let me just show you both. So I'm with the editor for Zazzle where you can actually create and adjust your design. So I just uploaded my design. It says bless grandma. And so as you can see in the right corner, you can see that the mug, it will actually shift the design based on what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put it on the left side and see, you can see that it is all clear. If you want it on the other side, you can actually just go click on this right arrow and then just adjust it accordingly and make sure that everything's aligned. And that looks pretty good. And if you're finished, you just have to go to the right top corner and press done. And you can see that the mug is finished. If I just go over here, it says bless grandma and I can sell it. All right, so that's one way of doing it, uh, adding an image. The other way you can do is uh, adding a text. So let me just show you how that works. So here I'm back at the mug, it's blank again. I'm gonna click on add text. So I just wrote in Bless Grandma. It looks different, obviously, because of how I wrote it. And so this is what it looks like. So I can easily adjust this. So I'm going to use this to drag the size. I'm going to put it to the same side. Actually, I'm going to do left side for this example. I think that looks good. And then once I'm finished, I press Done. All right, so that's another way of doing it. And then after that, again, you can press Sell it. All right, so I'm back at the home page again, and that was just an example if you want to upload just one product. But let's say you have a design and you just want to upload it to multiple products at once. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So what are you going to do? You're going to go to sell on the left side and click on it. And then after that, you're going to go to my stores and then click on your store. Okay, so this is my store and right here, this is where you should be at in your store section. So it kind of looks like this with dashboard with your icon right here, uh, or excuse me, your profile picture. And then after that, you got to go to quick links right here and create a product. All right, so this is what it looks like to be in your store section. So from here on out, you got to go to your products and this is the products right here. You got to click on that. After that, you're going to go to quick create, and this is the part where you can upload to multiple products at once. Okay. So here is pretty much the part where you upload your design. So I'm just going to do add logo template and then change. So I uploaded bless grandma and then I'm going to leave this blank and then press done. All right. So this is the part where it says quick product create. Again, this is the part where you can upload to multiple products at once. And so the best part about this is that it's going to upload everything for you automatically to all the products at once. However, the most important part about this is to actually look through your design and actually customize it. So I'm going to press edit options. So for this example, you can see that it looks like everything is correct. So I'm just going to leave that alone. But let's say we look at this golf ball. It does not look right to me because it just looks so small. So what you're going to do, you're going to press customize. So since I press customize, I'm going to adjust this just to make it bigger. And I just made it a little bit bigger and that looks a lot better. So you can arrange it with these arrows right here. See how it's just automatically moving it for me. And uh, you can align it in the center. You can align it resize image to fill. So yeah, you can use these options right here and you can also do different backgrounds as well. For this example, I'm not going to change the background because I want it transparent to fit the golf ball. So I'm going to leave it as it is. All right. So the next option is obviously just to go through all the designs and just to make sure that everything looks correct, even if it's a little bit like for this one, it looks like it could be centered just a little bit. So again, I'm going to press customize and I just adjust it a little bit. That looks great. Press done. So yeah, make sure to go through each design and after that, you can press next. So this is the part where you have to fill out the info and this is where you just have to put your description and title. So I'm just gonna write in bless grandma for the title. The next one is just a story or just an explanation about your product. Okay, so after that, you wanna go to marketplace and categories and then you just wanna fill out the occasions and events. So I'm gonna click on this 
And this is not really a special occasion, but I'm just going to see what's there. So for this one, maybe just current events, or it could be like a birthday. So let me just do birthday for this one. So I did birthday, family, and I did grandparents, and I press done. I'm going to click on recipient, and I'm going to do for her, and let's see if we can find grandma in here, and we can, grandmother, and we did. Choose a category within your store. I'm going to just do my store. And for tags, this is the part where you actually have to use as many tags as possible, which is, I believe, 10. So just write in relevant keywords that you can use. Okay, so the next section, we're going to go to additional information, and we see a suitable audience. So this one is just G, um, because there's really nothing PG-13 or rated R about it. If your product or design is rated R, I would recommend putting that, or if you feel like it's PG-13, I would mark that as well. So mine is rated G. For product visibility, I put public because I want it to be shown to everybody. It doesn't matter who sees it. For quick create product options, I put products to sell. And then it says show customize it button. I did yes, I can allow the customize it button. And for this one, the royalty, it really depends on you. I'm just gonna leave it default at 5%. I think that's fine with me, but if you wanna do 50%, you are more than welcome to do that. Or you can do 15, you can do 10. But for me, I'm just going to do five for this example. Okay, that looks good. Press this button right here. I have the right to publish and sell this product without violating others' rights, and I agree to Zazzle's user agreement. And this is just very important to make sure that your product is copyright free, trademark free, and you're not violating anybody's rights about it. So, yeah. And then at the bottom, the last thing it has is I'm not a robot, and I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to press post it. 